Hey friends, it's day six, but really day seven because I did this video so many times because I wasn't satisfied with the way I was explaining things and finally I got it. I finished today, have it up for you guys because I feel I explained it as best as I possibly could for you guys. So today it's the French braid. Hi guys, so to start off, I'm going to use some of this sunny, Isle castor oil edge hair gel. I'm still waiting on my blueberry bliss. It should be here. It should be here this week Anyways, um, I should have took fast shipping right anyways, okay, so I dipped that in and I'm just gonna go to the edges and get Those nice and smooth. Can you put your head a little bit up here? So Cora just ate all her snack before we started the video. She gets an extra special one because guys, this hairstyle, this is my fourth time. Can you show them? Yeah, we're gonna show them this time because the lighting was off, I the angles, and I'm hoping that this works. Okay, so what you wanna do, and I wasn't explaining it properly, so this time I think I get it. I get how to explain it to you. So I already moisturized her hair. I do like it to be really moisturized though when I'm doing this style. Cause it's, sorry Sakura, it's easy to work oh. with. Can you just leave that there? Mommy will pick it up. I might need it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take three pieces of hair, okay? Then. Mommy, what's my shoe now? Then you're going to, no, you're going to watch it after. Then you're going to braid the hair like that. Just do it a couple times. And then you're going to grab some hair on the left side. And you're going to put it in the middle. Okay. In the middle. And then you're going to cross over that hair grab some more hair on this side. You wanna make sure it's detangled all the time. And you're gonna put it in the middle. See, this is how I hold my fingers when I'm doing it, so I know where the middle part is. And I'm gonna cross over, grab some hair, and put it in the middle. And you're gonna tighten it like if you want it really tight, not really tight, but if you want it tight, you just tighten it as you are gonna cross over, okay? So that's what you're just gonna keep doing. Grab some hair, put it in like the middle. That, Mama? Yeah, exactly. What she's talking about, you guys will see at the end. That, oh. like that? Yeah, nice. in the middle, and then you cross it over and it. I tightened it as well. And then if you feel knots, if you feel it getting knotty, you you want to detangle it. Okay? With spray? No, with a comb. So then you want to take some so here, take take some hair, put it in the middle, then you're crossing over. Okay? Take some hair. Can you watch them? Oh, Sakura, in, the, in a minute. It Put it in the middle. Cross over. And you just keep doing that and tightening it and, and detangling. Tighten, detangle, cross over, middle. So, see how the braid is coming? Here, just, yeah. So, it's perfect, Sakura. So, um, get some hair. Put it in the middle of your fingers, however you hold it, and cross over. Let's see if I, yeah, I don't know. Some people hold it like this. Let me see if I can do it without messing up. Can you put your head this way? Some people go like, you hold, they hold it like this. I don't know. They, their thumb is, has the middle part and their two fingers have this part and then, I don't know if you can see that. They hold it like that. Get some hair, 
cross over it and then this is too hard for me too hard for me but it, it depends on how you guys feel how how, how comfortable Okay, so. Ouch. Oh, sorry, Sakura. You keep doing that all the way down. Now. Sakura, can you put your head down, please? Now, I should have took less chunks because I wasn't paying attention. Just trying to concentrate. Yeah, I, I needed to take less. Yeah, maybe this is good that I did this because you want to try to make sure you're not taking so much so that it, so much hair so that it flows nicely and evenly down at the bottom because now I have this much hair and okay so when I I'll show you do this so now there's no all the hair is you know I've taken all the hair so now there's no more room left for me to no more hair for me to braid down here so you just gotta practice. Practice makes perfect. There's the braid. Is it done? Guys, oh, and then let me see. Um, Is it done yet? Sakura, just wait. Um, okay, so Don't see these. The baby hair. Okay, so, see how you see these lines, lines here? You, all you need to do is just get your comb. You don't like the lines and you just comb it make it nice and neat same with this I'm just going to put some gel here already put a little bit but gel around the edges okay so first So you want to take this and break it into three sections like you would do a braid. Okay. And then you're going to braid it a couple times. I do usually do it once or twice, usually two times. I just want to make sure this is all detangled. Okay, so now you're going to take some hair from the side. and put it in the middle. And then this is where I tighten it. And I tighten it. And I cross over. Okay? And take some from this side. Okay. And then put this in the middle and you're crossing over. Okay, no more looking at the camera, please. Wet, I'm going to dampen it a bit, make sure there's no knots. Ouch. Sorry. Okay, so now taking some hair from the left side, okay, and then I'm putting it in the middle, and then I'm crossing over the right. Then I'm taking some hair, I'm hoping you guys can see this, on the right side, putting it in the middle, and then I'm crossing over the left. I'm taking some hair again from the left, putting it in the middle, then I'm crossing over the right. Put Taking from the right, how about you turn this way now? It might be more comfortable for you, yeah. Taking some hair, and put your head back. Taking some hair from the right, putting it in the middle, and then I cross over the left. Okay? And I'm gonna detangle it a bit. Then taking some hair from the left. Sorry, my baby. Putting it in the middle, and then crossing over the right. Okay, put your head down. Then you're just gonna keep doing that. Right, middle, crossover, left. Left, middle, crossover, right. Right, middle, crossover, left. That's what you want to do. So, just keep. 
keep, I'm gonna keep doing that until I get down here. Once you know how to do it, can you put your head down? You will get faster. And I know it may look complicated, but trust me, like I'm still, I'm still trying to master this style because I could do it in my own hair, but I did not do it in anybody else's hair. And then once I had Sakura and started, you know, I just had to start practicing. And, and the first time, oh, I wish I could have pictures so you guys would see. So you would know that, <clears throat> like, <clears throat> right now it looks good. But before, oh my gosh, my fingers didn't get it. So it's practice, practice, practice. That's all it is. I know some people might think, oh, yeah, right, practice, I'm never gonna get it because your hands just don't go or you just can't get it, but trust me, it, is, it does come with practice. Bam. Whoa, it looks beautiful. <laughs> you haven't even seen it yet. Girl, turn around. Right, see, this one does not look that good, but I'm not doing it again, don't worry, baby. Are um, you done? Yeah, to look at the camera. <laughs> that looks bad. Hey friends, so I just wanted to give you another visual. I seen this on Pinterest used with paper and yarn, but I'm just using my wall and some fabric. So you're just gonna grab some hair and create three pieces, a left, a middle, and a right. And you're just gonna create a braid. You can either do it once or twice. I'm just doing it once here. And then I do this one a little bit differently than how I normally do it, but I grabbed a left piece of hair and connected it with the left part and then I crossed it over. So I grabbed some hair on the right and then I'm gonna connect it to that right part and then I'm going to cross over. And then again, the left, I'm gonna grab some hair on the left, then I'm gonna grab that left part and then cross it over. And when I was doing the, her hair, I was crossing over, then putting hair in the middle. Crossing over, then putting hair in the middle. So you guys might do it like how I'm doing it right here, or you might do it how I was actually doing it in her hair. Here, when I'm doing it, it feels more comfortable, but when I'm doing it in her hair, it, I can't do this at all. So I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> but I hope this helps you guys. Like, I hope that I'm not confusing you because, it, trust me, it was really confusing trying to explain this. That's why it took me so long to do this video. I really hope that this video did not confuse you guys. I hope that, you know, you got some understanding. If not, please go check out some other videos on YouTube of people teaching out of French rage. You might have to watch five or six or just maybe one or two, I don't know, but to really understand it. And also you have to try it and practice. It's not gonna come the first time. It may not come the second time, but Eventually over time after you're doing it a few times a lot of times a billion times <laughs> You will get it. Trust me. It is difficult. I told you that but It is possible if you try and believe in yourself, man. Come on So guys, I hope you like this video. Please like subscribe comment